charcoal mouthwash. Is this a hoax? Is it actually real? Is it just a trending gimmick? I'm here to find out. All right, so we are in my bathroom today for a change of scenery because I am doing a mouthwash review. Woo! Not just any mouthwash, charcoal mouthwash. So, does this stuff actually work? Is it just a trending gimmick? I'm here to find out. I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on these two brands. So I've been testing both of these brands out for a few days and I feel confident that I have picked the winner. Um, so I want to go over each one with you a little bit before I tell you which one I think is worth your money. I tried out the charcoal teeth whitening activated powder. Goodness, it's a mouthful. I tried that stuff out about a year and a half ago and spoiler, I really hated it. Um, if I can figure it out, I'm gonna link the video up here for you to watch, but I'll definitely put it down in the caption. Uh, long story short, I thought that it was complete rubbish. Uh, it kind of stained my teeth black, which is not what it's supposed to do. And I found that when you spit it out, it makes everything black. So I got it like all over the shirt I was wearing and all over my bathroom and I just didn't think it worked very well. Um, so I wasn't very impressed by that whole trend that hit the internet about a year ago. And then I started seeing these pop up. Knowing that I really hated the teeth whitening powder, um, I wasn't sure if I was going to even like this, uh, but I figured it is time. I'm going to give charcoal oral care another chance. <laughs> so there are these two brands. Uh, I have done a little bit of research and I can't find a large selection of charcoal mouthwash. There are other brands, so it's not just these two on the market, but other brands were a little harder to find or they were way more expensive. Um, so I went with the two that were the easiest to find and buy online right now. So I believe both are available at Target, also on Amazon. Um, you can get at least Hello at a lot of different marketplaces like Grove and Thrive Market and stuff like that. So this one's a little bit easier to find than this one. Um, this one is $5.99 and I think this one is $8.99. Um, so they're pretty similar in price points. Uh, this is a little bit more expensive, but there you go. So for you today, I have Hello Activated Charcoal Extra Freshening Mouthwash. Uh, this is in the mint flavor, and it says right in the front that they use coconut oil, and I later learned that they don't use alcohol. The other one doesn't either, um, and they instead use coconut oil. Ooh, this bottle is so trending right now. <laughs> so these guys have a lot of certifications. They have like the Leaping Bunny certification, and they're vegan, and I think they're non-GMO, and they have a lot of, a lot of things like that. And then I have my Magic Mud over here, uh, which is very similar. Also doesn't use alcohol in their formula. They say that their formula is patent pending. This one says nothing about coconut oil, but I'm sure they use their own thing to make it work. Um, I'm not good at science. All right, so overall, how does charcoal mouthwash work compared to traditional mouthwash? So I had to look at this one up. Uh, the main difference is that charcoal is a porous natural element and people, scientists who are a lot smarter than me, um, believe that it absorbs like toxins and impurities really great into its pores. So it's kind of like a little natural sponge. So that's the um, idea of putting it into mouthwash is that the charcoal naturally kind of absorbs all the purities and takes it away when you spit it out. And I guess for that one, coconut oil kind of replaces alcohol. I'm honestly not sure how that works, but that's how that's different from the traditional mouthwashes. So it's really great for people who um, are looking for a natural alternative because some of those mouthwashes can just be like packed with so many chemicals and I know a lot of people don't like the way that mouthwash burns um, and if you are like if you have chronic diseases or anything or any just there's a lot of reasons that you want a natural product um, weird you don't want to put chemicals into your body how shocking all right we're gonna start with the hello that up here again this one is easier to find you can find it at Target and Amazon really easily it's just like six dollars so here we go as you can see, that is black. Sorry for showing my sink, but it does leave your sink black, but it washes away for the most part. You see, my teeth are a little yellow because I need to go to a dentist and get a cleaning, but they're not black, which is great because the first time I used the um, charcoal teeth whitening powder, like a year ago, totally stained my teeth black. It took a really long time to get that black to go away. So I was really worried that I'd do a swig of this mouthwash, but um, nope, it is black in color, but it does not stain your teeth black. Also a point for the low price point. Uh, this is the mint flavor. 
has a very strong minty flavor. I like it a lot. It's not too overpowering. Um, it also has a slight burn to it, which I enjoy. So it's not like a full-fledged like mouthwash burn. It does burn as you're switching around just a little bit, and I actually really like that because it feels like it's working. Uh, it, like I feel like it's killing off that bad bacteria and stuff like that. So I really appreciate that it does that. Um, on the flip side, I know some people are probably hoping to find a mouthwash that doesn't burn. So in that case, you probably not like that. So same as the other one, this has no alcohol, no dyes, no artificial sweeteners, no sulfates, no brainer. So the label says. I would say the downside is it does get my sink still a little dirty. Uh, since using it, I've had to wash my sink out every day. So I guess that's still the downside is the charcoal doesn't stain your teeth, but it will stain your sink. And next up is my magic mud. So I don't have a fun little glass to chug from this one. So I'll just. That's the second one. It has a very distinct, different taste. It still tastes minty, but after having the Hello one right afterwards, you can tell that the mint is not nearly as strong with the My Magic Mud. It doesn't taste bad though. It's just different. The most noticeable difference between these is that this is brown, and I guess that's why it's called My Magic Mud, um, but it is a brown color while this is a black color. Um, and I personally like the black color better. Just something about the brown just makes it feel like you're swinging, like swishing around dirt or something. Um, but that's just a color. It's like, has nothing to do with the actual product. Um, just know that this is brown. This one also doesn't burn like at all. So if you have super sensitive teeth, you might want to try using my magic mud instead. Um, again, I prefer to have that slight burn, but that one, no burn whatsoever. So a point for no burns. So do they work? I have been using them for a few days and I do think they work. Um, I think it's definitely a fair alternative to like standard traditional bright blue mouthwash and I'm definitely going to be using charcoal mouthwash in the foreseeable future. I do think it's a great alternative. That being said, I still have yet to consult a dentist. Um, I've asked my friend who's a dental hygienist uh, when she lets me know her a professional opinion about charcoal mouthwash. I will update my blog post um, with her thoughts, but as a consumer without real professional uh, expertise in this, um, I feel like it works. I feel like it gets rid of my bad breath. Um, I feel like it's working. So the winner is, if you haven't figured it out, I prefer the Hello mouthwash this one. It has a bigger bottle for a smaller price. I enjoy the taste better, I like the color better, um, and I do enjoy that little burn better. It makes me feel like it's working better. Um, the pros for this is that if you have really sensitive teeth, this doesn't burn, so I think that's a good alternative. But it's a higher price for a smaller bottle. I don't like the taste as much. Color kind of throws me off, but color is just aesthetics, really. Um, it's also a little harder to shop for. Like this is just easier. It's available in more places. So if you're thinking of trying charcoal mouthwash, I recommend the Hello Activated Charcoal Mouthwash right here. Again, you can find it at Target or Amazon. I've linked them both below for you. <laughs> Um, I've also linked the My Magic Mud too in case you want to try it out. I also know that Hello has different flavors, so if you don't want one of charcoal, I think they have some standard mouthwashes that are natural based as well. So that is it. That is my charcoal mouthwash review. I hope you found it informative. Um, definitely try it out if you are interested in finding a natural alternative to harsh mouthwashes. Um, if you have tried either of these brands before and you have thoughts about them, leave a comment below. Curious to hear if you like Hello Best as well. If you have a different brand that you think should have been reviewed, definitely tag them below. Um, I'm always looking for new brands and if I overlooked a really great one, I definitely want to know. That's about it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, you know the drill. All right, have a good day guys.